this pictures. I mean, I look at the eyes. They reflect what they've gone through. Pasadena Public Library is very excited uh, to be able to present uh, the artwork of Ken Pridgen. The exhibit is entitled Portrait of a Warrior. Each painting represents a soldier that has fallen in combat. Uh, Ken Pridgen has taken the time and made it his own personal quest to paint portraits of all the soldiers uh, that have fallen in these recent conflicts. Each painting you see here represents a Texas soldier that made the ultimate sacrifice in serving their country. The artist will do a painting of the fallen soldier and give a free print to the families to commemorate the loved ones that they lost. It's amazing. The families provide a variety of pictures and then the artist takes those different images and creates a collage. They put their lives out there to protect the country, what they believe in. Well, I think it's tremendous. Very excited to see the work. We've had quite a few people come in. We have a guest book. People have left some terrific comments. Most people will say it's a very moving experience. They're impressed with the quality. I think the most common reaction I've heard is that people appreciate the work. They appreciate that someone is taking the time to truly honor and thank those who have made such a great sacrifice. Ken Pridgen has a studio in Baytown. It's a large studio and it exhibits uh, quite a few of his paintings. It's a terrific place to stop by. Very moving and worthwhile trip to go to Baytown and see his work there. There's a good chance he'll be there working on a painting if you come visit. He loves to talk about how he paints, how he learned to paint, and it's been a lifelong passion of his. This has given us an excellent opportunity to provide a focus on the everyday heroes uh, that exist in our community. Uh, the detail is amazing. In fact, I've heard several people comment that the detail is at such a level that many of the images of soldiers look familiar. It's quite a big challenge, uh, but he's, uh, he's 80, 80 years old and he's still moving, he's still moving forward. It's his goal to, to include everyone from Texas that has lost their life, that have fallen in these recent conflicts.